Periods have always been the cause of struggles and discomfort for a lot of women, especially in their daily lives, so much that it even hinders them from doing simple chores. Can you imagine how this affects female athletes? For today, we'll be talking about how a new study was launched to assess how periods impact female athletes. So if you want to know more about today's topic, then make sure you keep watching until the end. Researchers at AIS have started a new investigation into how the menstrual cycle affects athletic performance. The Australian Institute of Sport AIS, has been investigating how different menstrual cycle phases impact athletes. A group of 26 volunteers will be the subject of the study, and many elements of their health and performance and menstrual cycles will be tracked. The results are expected to aid athletes and other researchers in better comprehending the effects of menstruation and in figuring out how to use that information to enhance performance. Atalia Love, a 19-year-old participant in the study, has been keeping track of her periods for almost as long as she has been playing rugby league. The Mackay resident has six years of experience playing the sport. The teenage athlete recalls how her period was a little erratic when she first started playing the sport. She also mentioned how she had to adjust to the various changes in her activity level, including figuring out how to manage it and her food. According to Love, so far, getting used to it has been a struggle. As a new participant in the study, Love hoped to learn more about the requirements her body had at certain times of her cycle. Love said she's eager to learn from the new study when she'll be stronger or if she'll see the greatest increases, especially at specific moments in her cycle. Just being around such elite researchers and coaching staff to be surrounded in that sort of environment is just an incredible opportunity, Love shared in a statement. The study's principal investigator, Dr. Rachel Harris, of the Department of Sports and Exercise Medicine, said it was typical for athletes like Love to understand their own body's requirements at certain stages of their cycle. But that information usually ended there. Only 6% of the research on the subject, according to her, involved women. The study is being carried out through a female athlete research camp in collaboration with the NRLW and the Australian Catholic University in an effort to fill those gaps in the research, according to Harris, who claimed that there has been very little high-quality research done in those particular areas. The AIS isn't the first to study the effects of menstrual cramps, since there was also a British study that attempted to understand it a while back. The menstrual cycle and its impact on elite female rugby players have been extensively researched. A recent report in the British Journal of Sports Science found that 33% perceived heavy menstrual bleeding and 67% considered these symptoms hampered their performance. Period aches are real, and it is obvious that this problem is not always quickly resolved by taking fast paracetamol before a race. How, therefore, can we stop the havoc caused by menstruation for female athletes? People are frequently ready to advise these ladies to use some sort of contraception and stop their periods altogether as a quick remedy. The pill is not, however, as alluring as it would seem. Although this tiny tablet is smaller than a one-pound penny and quite simple to incorporate into your routine, it should not be taken lightly. One of the many negative side effects of contraception is that it can harm one's mental health. For the participants collaborating with the AIS, who aspire to one day become professional NRLW players, it also serves as a training camp. The participants have been monitoring their menstrual cycles for the past two months, while researchers have been evaluating their performance, sleep, diet, recuperation, and strength. A few members of the group use hormonal contraception. While there are myths and misconceptions regarding how menstrual cycles affect people's physical ability, Harris stated there is a great deal of individual diversity. We've been tracking these athletes now for two months, and when we look at it, there's probably only like a handful of athletes within that that would sit within the normal ranges of a normal menstrual cycle if we put that in inverted commas, Harris stated. The study's most important finding is actually to look at what the range of normal is within the athletic population, she continued, adding that all of the other athletes that fall outside of that have some very huge variations. She stated that they were also interested in learning how many athletes would have irregular menstrual cycles and what effect that might have on their athletic prowess. As for the researchers, they anticipate that the study will benefit both athletes and the general public in terms of their health. Harris added that there
there is a lot of negativity surrounding the menstrual cycle, but that did not have to be the way. According to Harris, some of their athletes truly feel particularly powerful at various points of their menstrual cycle or would want to have their championship at a different period. She did, however, emphasize that women are, on the whole, incredibly resilient. Women are setting records, earning gold medals, and going through all phases of their menstrual cycles. Harris stated that she believes society needs to exercise extreme caution to avoid putting too much emphasis on the menstrual cycle's negative features, as there are undoubtedly some positive parts as well. She anticipated that more female athletes would be able to participate in sports for longer if there was more research done in the area. She disclosed that women leave the sport at a much higher rate than men do at every point of the life cycle, and that all they truly want is for them to keep working out. Overall, Harris believes that one of the best things about this research is that it will demonstrate that women may continue to be as active and fit as they possibly can during the menstrual cycle. The AIS ongoing study came just in time after Olympic medalist Dina Asher Smith calls for more research into how periods affect athletic performance. After pulling up with cramps brought on by her period while defending her 100 meter championship at the European Championship, British sprinter Dina Asher Smith advocated for increased funding for research into the effects of menstruation on sports performance. In an interview, Asher Smith shared her thoughts on the matter and how it affected others like her as well. People don't always talk about it either because you see girls that have been so consistent and there is a random dip, Asher Smith explained to BBC Sport. Behind the scenes, they have been really struggling, but outwards, everybody else is saying, what's that? That's random, so it could just do with more funding. The Olympic athlete continued by saying that there would be a myriad of ways to fight the problem if it affected men, but that it only required more financing for women. The 26-year-old pulled up 60 meters into the race on Tuesday because of cramps in her calves and came in last, but she dispelled any lingering injury concerns on Thursday night when she returned to the track for the 200 meter semifinals. It was girl stuff on Tuesday. It was frustrating, but just one of those things. She relayed to BBC Sport after she bagged her 200 meter heat with an impressive time of 22.53 seconds. It is a shame because I am in really good shape, so I was really looking to come and run fast here. But sometimes that is not the way that everything pans out. Asher Smith continued by saying that because it is so significant, she believes that more people should actually conduct this kind of sports science research. Kelly Lee McNulty, a researcher studying the impact of the menstrual cycle on exercise, told the BBC in May that only 6% of sport and exercise studies had particularly focused on women. However, a few female athletes have started talking openly about how their periods affect their performance, breaking the stigma that still surrounds the topic. Women's golf's number four in the world, Lydia Ko, was praised in May for being honest about her back issues brought on by her period while competing at the Palos Verdes Championship. Iga Sviatek, a professional tennis player, discussed the effects of premenstrual syndrome, PMS, after losing to Maria Sakkari at the 2021 WTA Finals. Jessica Ennis Hill, a gold medalist in the heptathlon at the Olympics, has since released her own fitness software that incorporates menstrual cycle tracking into its training plans and enables users to train around their cycle. Although there isn't a quick answer or precise remedy for the issues that athletes like Asher Smith confront, her interview unquestionably assisted in launching crucial discussions about this sensitive subject. The 26-year-old smile persisted throughout the conversation, demonstrating her acceptance of period symptoms as occasionally inevitable and just a normal part of being a woman. Despite her loss in the 100-meter race, the two-time Olympic bronze medalist maintained a good attitude, which speaks volumes about how resilient she is as an athlete and serves as an inspiration to many young girls and aspiring athletes. As noted by Asher Smith, it is hoped that this terrible incident may serve as a leverage to encourage greater financing and research from a sports science standpoint. Women may undoubtedly avoid menstruation from ever limiting their success and style with such forward-thinking ideas. And that's all we have for today's video. What else do you think the research should focus on to help female athletes? Let us know in the comment section below. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more video 
videos like these. See you next time and thanks for watching.